Hi guys and welcome to How's It Rate. My name is Chico and I'll be your host today. Today we're going to continue on with the uh, uh, banquet pot pie uh, de uh, meals and this one here I guess I could call a, uh, a breakfast meal because it's the deep dish sausage and gravy and uh, not much of a picture on the front cover as you can see kind of bland looking um, but I'll tell you what I've had really good luck with the pot pies from banquet um, the last one I did was a uh, cheesy ham was very good so I have high expectations for this one this is a uh, sausage made with pork and turkey well I'm glad this, that the uh, the pork is in there and it's uh, sausage gravy and a flaky crust contains 18 percent meat and then meat pie contains 25 percent meat if anybody can clarify that for me because I still don't have a clue what they're talking about but in any case um, this meal is obviously frozen and uh, the net weight is seven ounces so let's see what we've got for nutritional facts well it's at 450 calories and calories from fat are 260 the total fat is 28 grams at 43 percent of your daily uh, suggested intake and the saturated fat is 10 grams at 50 percent so that's quite high uh, trans fats are zero cholesterol is 35 milligrams at 12 percent sodium 850 milligrams at 35 percent bit high there potassium 220 milligrams at 6 percent total carbohydrates are 39 grams 13 percent and dietary fiber is 2 grams at 8 percent and sugars are 7 grams and protein is 10 grams with no percentage given and then obviously all our vitamins and all of those things uh, standard cooking directions okay uh, you know the 1100 watt oven is always mentioned and you know I've been doing a little research on that and I can't find anything wrong with using an 800 or a 900 watt microwave watt oven uh, as long as you increase the cooking time uh, as a matter of fact you can cook these on half power in these ovens and just leave them in for twice as long or so you know not necessarily uh, twice as long maybe three times as long but it still works out as long as you get this puppy hot it's going to be good uh, the crust may you know uh, suffer a little bit in a lower wattage uh, but I'm not even sure of that um, so uh, the 1100 watt we've gone over that and that would be four to five minutes anything lower obviously would be higher um, it just doesn't make sense it says do not cook in microwave ovens below 1100 watts as the product may not cook thoroughly I just don't get that Con conventional oven preparation is recommended you know I mean come on in a, in a conventional oven here we would have to stick this in there for 30 to 32 minutes I don't know about you but by then the show's over I want to go to bed and, and that's the end of that in a microwave we're looking you know four to five minutes if it's a 900 watt for God's sakes leave it in there for seven minutes or eight minutes or ten minutes or till the damn thing bubbles so that's my thoughts on that and I'm sticking to it so having said that uh, what kind of ingredients have we've got here uh, sausage gravy water sausage crumbles made with pork and turkey uh, mechanically separated Ooh, okay I can just picture that uh, we've got soy protein, concentrate, salt, flavoring, sugar, dextrose, and the list goes on and on. Really not too bad. Uh, you know, there's some stuff there like Pripol, Gallate. I don't have any of that in the fridge. Uh, stuff like that, you know, you, you expect to see. And this is made by ConAgra Foods. Mm, Omaha, Nebraska. Hey, it's on our country. Can't be that bad. So let's uh, take this out of the package see what it looks like and then we'll pop it in the microwave and let's see nice little pie we're familiar with those right we've seen them many times before and as I said I've been very pleased with the banquet pot pies I wouldn't give you a plug mythical for the, the rest of their dinners uh, we haven't had much luck with those but their pot pies seem to be pretty good so uh, let me pop this in the pipe in the microwave and I'll be back shortly well while our little pie is in the oven I just wanted to show you a quick shot of the ingredients as you can see 
they're pretty common. We've seen those on all the pot pies. Um, so I think we're pretty safe here. Well, folks, we're back from the microwave oven with our little uh, sausage and gravy, uh, deep dish sausage and gravy pot pie by Banquet. Looks pretty good. You can see I messed with it again. I didn't slit the top. I don't know. I, I like you know, just seeing if it's going to blow up one of these days. Well, in any case, we're going to try it. I'm sure it's scalding hot. What am I expecting from this pie? Well, I'm expecting the gravy to be decent. And I'll tell you, the, the, the rest of the pot pies have always had a good gravy. So let's see how they did on their sausage uh, gravy. I'm also expecting, uh, you know, a good amount of sausage in there. I know it's not pure pork. There's some turkey in it. But I still expect there to be a, a fair amount of meat. So I have high expectations for this only because of the past experience with the pot pies from Banquet. So let's give it a try. Again, the crust is nice and flaky. I'm deflating it here. Um, it's done nicely. And it's smoking in there, so I know it's 165 degrees. I don't need a thermometer. So, let's see what we've got. Well, I can tell you, I think it's going to be a little dry because there's really not that much gravy in there. I thought there would be more, but let's see how it tastes. Take a bite here. I want to get some crust. Very hot. The gravy has a good flavor. And also the pork sausage has a nice flavor. And the, um, the crust, uh, the, the pie um, shell is nice, uh, very crusty and flaky. And I got a piece of that sausage, and the texture was a little funny. It didn't taste, didn't have the texture of a normal sausage. But let me, let me get another bite here. very good. The texture of the sausage is fine. The gravy has a nice flavor to it. I must admit I've had better sausage uh, gravy uh, and biscuits uh, elsewhere and homemade and yes it is better. But this is very good. Slightly on the salty side and I like salt. I mean I salt my ham so I like salt but this is a little bit salty. Um, Probably a little more than I'd like. The only drawback I have for it right now, other than the saltiness and uh, uh, the flavor is good, is the fact that the gravy is lacking. A little more gravy would have been really good in this thing. So, I'm going to give it a four and a half. Would I buy it again? Absolutely. It's, it's quick, it's easy, it's cheap, it's a great little starter meal in the morning. And hey, who says you can't have it for lunch or dinner? I mean, come on. I mean, this is good. It's fine. And it's uh, probably not the most nutritious thing you could have. Hey, we'll live with it. So, I hope you enjoyed this review, guys. We'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.